What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. And today we're at it again. We're here to talk about something that can improve your quality of life. And that's going to be this thing right here. Now this here is the Perny or Pernier IR sensor automatic soap dispenser. So as a tech nerd, I gotta say, I'm very excited about this. Now I know you may be thinking, okay, Leon, it's just a soap dispenser with an IR sensor that allows you to wash your hands hands-free. It's, it's really not that cool, man. But you know, it's things like this, little things like this that you add to other electronics, other technology, just to bring your house or your apartment more into the future. So it's pretty simple. Now this here is going to improve your quality of life because if you're anything like me, when you're cooking in the kitchen and your hands are soiled or maybe you're cleaning the bathroom, you don't want to touch the soap bottle just to wash your hands because then you contaminated the soap bottle and then you contaminated the handles on the sink and before you know it, everything is probably contaminated. So this is a little simple thing just to help improve that situation and just make it a little easier. Now, before we go ahead and jump into the unboxing, as always, I'm gonna post a link of this in the description below so you can know where to find it if you're interested in buying it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up here. And we're gonna have a little plastic piece here. It looks like it's going to go on the base. It's going to be a stand of some sort. Then we've got the actual soap dispenser here. So what we got going on here is a top lid there. Then we've got the volume decrease and increase button. We've got the spout right here. We've got an infrared sensor there. We've got an LED indicator here. Then obviously we've got the liquid container. That's this whole unit here. Then we've got another infrared sensor right there. We've also got a battery compartment right underneath here, and it looks like this is going to be four triple A's. Okay, so my initial thoughts on this device is that it does look really nice. What I love most about it is going to be this aluminum finish here, mainly because it's going to go nice with a kitchen sink because most of the time your kitchen sink is also aluminum. The other thing about aluminum is that it does look futuristic or minimalist, so if you're going for a look like that, aluminum is always a good way to go. Now we do have some plastic pieces on the top here and on the base, but they're really not all that bad. They do contrast with the aluminum a little bit, but it still looks like a really good device. The soap volume buttons, they're rubber, and they do have nice feedback, they click. The LED indicator, which is right here, is a dark purple, and it actually goes in nicely there. And as you can see, we've got the infrared sensor there and at the bottom. Now, I don't really like this one here. It kind of is like a little bubble that just sticks out a little bit, but maybe you'll kind of get used to it with time. Overall, I'm very excited to try this out. So let's go ahead, put some batteries in and use this thing. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is throw some triple A's in here. So we're gonna go ahead and load those up. Next, we have the base lid here. And as you can see, there's gonna be a notch right in there. And that's going to line up with this notch here. So we're just going to try and get that as close as we can. And that's going to push on there nicely and uh, just complete the look there. The next thing we're going to do here is turn the lid counterclockwise and our soap is going to go right in there. And as you can see, there's going to be quite a bit of volume in there. So you can fill this up quite a bit. So I've got my dish soap here that I'm going to be using and I'm just going to start filling this up. All right, we'll get the lid back on here. Okay, so the next step is to turn this on and there is an on button here that you have to press for one to two seconds and there will be an LED indicator that will light up. Now I do want to say the important thing is it is natural to want to put your hand here, but if you do, when you turn this on, your hand's going to be in the way of the IR sensors and it's going to start squeezing soap out, possibly onto your hand or onto your sink. So when you turn it on, take your hand away from here and just kind of do it like this. But we'll try it and see if that light comes on. And as you can see, it blinked. Now to turn this off, we got the off button. We're just gonna press and hold that and the LED indicator should show up again as well. 
and there you go it's off now to test that out you can just kind of put your hand in the way of the IR sensor and it's not going to activate it so no soap's going to come out because of course it's off so now that we've got this thing filled up here it's ready to go we're going to put it right on the sink right there as you can see this also goes really nice with the kitchen sink here it's got about the same finish that aluminum finish there looks really good now we're going to go ahead and do one test here just to show this off and i'm going to get the water on first because i don't want to get the soap on my hands before i turn the faucet on put my hand underneath good amount of soap with the hands show you the hands prove that they're soapy rinse them off then i'll go dry them off then we'll turn this off and yeah, that works really good. So that is pretty much it for this video today. I gotta say, I'm very impressed so far. I'm looking forward to using it. And again, I know it's just a soap dispenser with an IR sensor, but it's hands-free and it's tech. And it's just one little thing that you can add to your home, to your apartment, that'll just contribute to the big picture and make your place feel more modern, futuristic, minimalist, anything like that. Now, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments or wanna know how this holds up long-term because I am gonna be using it for an extended period of time, make sure you let me know so I can go ahead and answer you. And if you can, hit that subscribe button to support the channel. These videos, they take time and money and it's always appreciated. And until next time, Leon checking out.